Hello guys, Raphael here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Pong in Xcode. Now, we all know what Pong is, it's the classic uh, game, so I'll be teaching you how to make it in Xcode with Objective-C. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. So, I'm going to be using, for this tutorial, version 8.3.3, and let's look at create a new Xcode project right now. I'm going to click Single View Application, under iOS, I'm going to click Next. Product name, I'm gonna call mine as Pong Clone. And now, as for this video, we'll be using the programming language Objective C. We're gonna make sure that it's selected to Objective C. I will be making a tutorial on Swift as well in the future as well. And we're gonna make our devices as universal because we're building for the iPhone and iPad. And we're gonna click next. Save it where you want so I'm gonna say mine in my coding workspace I might need to replace that because I made a folder with the exact same name and now that we've created our project let's um, go underneath our deployment info and unselect landscape left and landscape right and we're also gonna tick requires full screen and in our deployment target we're gonna select iOS version 10.0 so this is pretty much saying Run version run on um, our app only for users who are running at least iOS version 10. So if our player is running um say iOS 9 or iOS 8, they will need to upgrade. So it's saying you have to run at least at least version iOS 10.0 before you can play our app. So let's go to our um supporting files folder over here on the left. And we're gonna drag in our images that we need into this project. So this is our ball and our player. So we're gonna drag that right in and drag it into our supporting files folder. We're gonna make sure this box here is ticked, which is copy items if needed. So this will make a copy of our project files in our projects folder. So if we move them from our original uh, directory, it won't mess up our entire project. And you can move your images without worrying. And make sure add to targets pong clone is ticked as well or do whatever you called your project name and click finish and now as you see if you've ever played pong before you will see that we have a ball and we have two players which we will be on um, for this tutorial part one only we will be coding our ball to move for now and then we will be setting up our um our players to move and our computer our opponent to move as well so let's go to our main store board and let's uh, design our interface. So let's click over, click on our view and let's make the background as black. And let's drag in three image views. So look for an image view. We're gonna drag in three image views and we're gonna make sure make this image view as 33 by 33. So go over here to our ruler, um, our size inspector tab, and this will be in our center of the screen. Now make make this image over here and drag this first image to the bottom, which will represent our player. And this one, which is our our size is 88 by 22, so make sure that is equal for the for the other opponent and drag that to the top. Now what we want is these image views will be representing our um, players and our ball. So we will first add our ball and we're gonna go to our image view and do ball.png or whatever you called your ball image. So this is the image that we are using. So that is the ball.png being used in our um, project. Now for the other two here with a um, control click, so make sure those two are highlighted, and I'm gonna do in the same area player.png. So it is setting all two images as player.png. So uh, if you have ever played Pong before, so this is to the people who haven't, you have um two players, and pretty much whoever scores the most, whoever scores the most points is the winner. And if you um, if you get like um. Depending on Pong games, some Pong games have this rule, some don't, but if the computer scores a certain amount of points, it is game over for you. So that is what we'll be adding in part 2. And also be, be sure to stay tuned in our Fruit Catcher series, which will be 
concluded in the next episode. So let's go um and let's go over here to our view control that H and let's start programming. So underneath our at interface, we're gonna do an open curly bracket and drop some lines. This here in our header, this is in Objective C, view controller dot h dot h stands for header files, and we're gonna be declaring our outlets, and we also have some booleans and some integers to declare. So let's go over here and type in ib outlet space ui image view asterisk. I'm gonna call it ball close bracket. So this will represent our ball. I'm going to copy and paste that and this will represent our player and this will represent our computer. So we also have to declare an integer. So do int space y and semicolon int space x and then add in a, a colon again. Now these will play um, a huge role when it comes to our ball of movement. So we also need to declare a timer here. So ns timer. Asterisk, we're gonna call it a timer and add it with a semicolon. And we also need a um, method. So do hyphen open bracket void close bracket and this will be a ball method. So let's go back to our head over to our storyboard and let's link these up together. So link our ball to our red ball, link our pl player to the bottom image view and our computer to our top image view. So that's all done for that's all set for now. Let's go to our view controller that M and before we code anything, let's click let's um build and run. But as we are developing for our iPhone 7 screen, we're gonna set our iOS simulator to iPhone 7 and click play. So it will say building pong clone and it build succeeded and let's bring up our simulator and simulator and see our app so far. So now we want to code our image view over here to move around the screen. So that is what we are about to do right now. So we're gonna be cheeky and go to our ball method. We're gonna highlight this with command C and paste with command V. Now in our um view, view did load, we're gonna set ball dot hidden equals yes. Player dot hidden will be equals no. Player a computer dot hidden equals no. So what we want to do is we want to set our ball to be hidden at first side side. So we want once we tap on the screen and when our game begins, we'll be make we'll be unhiding our ball. So let's do hyphen open bracket void close bracket touches began. So NS set UI touch touches with event UI event, add in a parentheses over here and space that out. And now we're gonna um, go back to our view controller that H, and we're gonna do in bool, so B O O L all capital letters space start, and go back to our .m file and do if start equals equals yes bracket and uh, parentheses we're gonna do start equals no in our view did load we're gonna do start equals yes so it's saying if our start is set to yes which we did over here make sure start equals no we're gonna space that out and copy copy our um three ib outlets and this time our ball is set to no so it is saying once we tap on the screen, this ball will become unhidden. So it will pretty much show once our, the game starts. Lastly, we're going to do void, close bracket, touches ended. Now, for now, we don't, have, we don't have to do anything yet. So leave that empty for now. But that will, that will be, um, we will get back to this in part two. Once we code our um, player to move around and our game over. So click play. And let's check out our app so far. So if you if you remember earlier, the ball is no longer showing, but once we tap, it'll show. And what we want to do is we want this ball to move around and hit the left and right of our screen. 
So well, that is what we are going to do right now. So click stop. And let's go over here to our main storyboard and we're going to add in um actually we don't we don't have to add anything in, we just need to add in some some two more image views and this is going to be our border bottom and our border top. So copy and paste it with command V again and drag that let me resize that and drag that over here. Oops. So that's a bit of an error. So put that up here. Okay, so these will be the points into where if our ball collides with any of these points, it will um it will um output in our in the scores which we will set up in the next episode. So let's go back, let's go to our viewcontroller.h and let's declare Actually, yeah, let's declare. We have already declared that, so we don't have to do anything here. We're going to do timer. So it's equal space bracket ns timer space scheduled timer with time interval 0 0.02 target self selector at selector open bracket. We're going to um, copy and paste ball method and paste it into here. Now, this ball method has to be what you declared your ball method in viewcontroller.h or else it will not work and it will not detect any method and it will give you a few errors so user info will be nil repeat yes close bracket and a semicolon now in our ball method let's code now what we want to do when our ball is moving around the screen so let's do um go over here and let's do ball dot center equals c g point make ball dot center dot x plus x ball dot center dot y plus y we just these two are the integers that we declared earlier on like here So now we want to do now if ball dot center dot x is less than a uh, fifty, live fifty, and if ball dot center dot x is greater than three o five. So these are um pretty much the two sides in our game. So if our ball is going um to hit left or right, so we we don't want our ball to go off the screen. So do x equals zero minus x. And copy and paste that in our second if statement. So go back to our um, touches began method, and this is the last thing we'll be doing for part one, and that is we're gonna be coding random number generators. So do y equals arc for random e space percent sign eleven. So this is a random. We just coded a ran random number generator. Do y equals y minus 5 and we'll do the same thing for the x integer so arc for random percent sign 11 now x equals x minus 5 and now we need to do some more if statements so do if y equals equals 0 we're gonna set y to 1 and we're gonna copy the, we're gonna copy and paste it and do the same thing for our x integer like just like that okay so let's build and run and see how our app functions so far so build succeeded when we tap on the screen our ball is starting to move around so we will fix we'll fix this in the in we'll fix the speed of the ball later on so right now um that is it for part one um don't worry, don't worry about the ball speed for now. We will be fixing that in part two. And um, once we set up our game over and our, and our collisions, that will be it for the game. So thank you all for watching. This is uh, part one of Pong, of how to make Pong in Xcode, how to make a Pong clone. Hit like and hit subscribe if this tutorial helped you out. And again, don't worry about the um, ball being slow for now. It will be fixed in episode two. So let's... So I'll end the video now and um, be sure to stay tuned for more and Fruit Catcher is going to be ended. It will be concluded in the next episode. 
And be sure to check out my apps in the App Store as well. I've, I've also advertised my app in my previous video. And um, it will be very appreciated if you check it out. So thank you all very, very much for watching.